pretty, pretty azaleas. Alright, so I thought that today I would film a little update on my garden because I love my garden and it makes me happy. So I think making a video about it would also make me happy. So anyway, introducing here is my tallest peach tree. I have two peach trees and this one is really being an overachiever this year. Look at all these tiny peaches. It's just covered. It's just like, yes, this is the year that I will make a million peaches. And I am here for it. This is, this is perfect and wonderful. And like, look, they're so cute. And they're so fuzzy. Like, they're just so fuzzy. They're just wonderful. So this is my big peach tree. And then over here, we have my little peach tree, which is trying to keep up with its big sister with the peaches. And I should probably pull these peaches off so it'll focus on growing leaves, but I don't know. That looks like a problem. I probably need to Google whatever is going on there and do something. Then, next up, we have my tall pear tree. This tree is even taller than the peach tree. And this tree is also overachieving this year. Look at all these pears. It's just such a wonderful tree. So many pears. It's like, yes, I will feed my family. I just love this. I love, I love fruit trees. Fruit trees are one of the best things in the world. And this is its little sister, my small pear tree, just barely taller than I am. This one's not trying to grow pears this year, at least I don't see any on it at the moment, and that's okay. It'll catch up another time. Blueberries. Blueberries. This is my Gumi Berry. It is taller than me. It is covered in flowers. And so far, every year that it has put out fruit, the birds get to it before I do. So we'll see how that goes this year. I would love to get more than like five berries. Um, I guess that'll depend how greedy the birds are. I see one right there starting already and my camera is not the greatest. Maybe if I do this instead of the zoom feature. Mostly we have flowers, but one is already trying to be a berry and that is pretty cool. Here we have a small plum tree that is just so happy. Like, look at all these tiny little plums on it. Like, this is just, like, one of the best things ever. I mean, I love it. I love it so much. And this is some brown grass. This is my last remaining elderberry. And... So I had two alderberries, this one and another one, and this one needs a cross-pollinator. The other one does better with a cross-pollinator but doesn't necessarily need it. The other one died, so this one needs a cross-pollinator, and I 
guess I'll never get fruit from it unless I plant another one, which I don't really plan to, but who knows. So, yeah, unless one of my neighbors has an elderberry that I don't know about, this is just going to be a tree. This is a bush. I used to know what it's called, but I don't remember. This was here when I bought the house, and it makes yellow flowers. And, okay, one more over here. We have the first plum tree I bought. It is pretty tall and not very leafy this year. Um, and it's got the starts of plums, but I'm not sure if they're going to develop. They're looking pretty sad. This tree in general is looking pretty sad right now. So we'll see. Um, this part of my yard, particularly where this tree is, was flooded for a while when I had a um, my water main burst. And so I'm kind of wondering if that like if that kind of interfered with this tree a bit, made it unhappy. There's a tiny deformed plum. And we have this garden bed, which is home to two of my kiwis and my strawberry plants. which are not super happy this year because I've been neglecting my garden beds. I've kind of been neglecting my gardens in general because I've been busy having to like work and stuff. There is a tulip. This whole row is tulips, but only a few came up this year. This is another blueberry bush. This garden bed has radishes planted in it, but they've not come up yet. And all right, the kiwis. I want, I think, I feel like I need to name my kiwis, but I don't know what to name them. So this is the male kiwi. He is very tiny but very necessary. The three female kiwis, exhibit, exhibit A, exhibit B, and exhibit C, will not give fruit unless this little one gets his act together and produces some flowers, which it looks like he might be thinking about doing this year. If so, that would be fantastic, because I have never gotten kiwis from these plants, because even though the female plants have been flowering for a couple years now, this little guy has stayed short and unproductive. And yes, they were all four planted at the same time. This one just doesn't want to grow. But anyway... We have my three female kiwis, and I love them, and I love this trellis, and someday when this trellis is like completely covered, I think it's going to be such a cool little spot. This one is the overachiever of the kiwis, and I see, I think, little flower buds there. So, yeah, those are my kiwi plants. I think they're pretty great. Here is my pomegranate tree. It is as tall as I am now, which is really cool. I have never gotten a pomegranate from it yet, but that's okay. It's still young, 
I love the leaves. I love the red leaves. It's just so pretty. Alright. This one, I believe, is a pluot, a plum slash apricot, if I remember correctly. It's taller than me. And um, I believe, well, it did have tiny fruit on it. I saw some the other day. Let's see if there is still any on here. Am I just blind? Ah, oh, here's one. All right, camera focus. So there's one. Ooh, here's another one. And then another one. Um, right there. Awesome. So this is, ooh, there's more. Yes. See, I told you there was fruit. It's the best. This is so great. Oh, there's another one. This is the first time that this, <gasps> there's another one. <laughs> This is the first time that this plant has given me fruit, so I'm really looking forward to those ripening and seeing how they taste. And then we cannot forget my jujube, which is almost as tall as me. It's trying, and it's still growing slanted, and that happened when someone's stray dog, like, trampled it and knocked it over, and now it grows on a slant. But... This is a jujube tree, and I love this tree, and I am really excited for it to keep growing and get huge and lovely, and everything will be great. Also in my garden, we have a ton of dandelions, just ready to blow seeds everywhere and make a ton more dandelions. If you've never had ducks, the thing to know about ducks is that I filled this pool with fresh water about 20 minutes ago. Fresh, clean water. believe it. This is my mulberry tree and it has mulberries for the first time ever. Look at those beautiful things right there. Just look at them. Those are mulberries. I've been waiting for years to have mulberries and look. I need to go check my other mulberry trees. Hi, potato. All right, I am here by the old other mulberry trees. I, so this is my compost bin and I actually don't think I planted these mulberry trees here. They just like popped up. But let's see if we find fruit anywhere. I am not seeing fruit. Is that one? Is that? All right, camera focus. Show the people. I think that is a fruit. It is just blurry, but it is a blurry fruit. So let me see. Yes, look, there's another one. 
right here but my camera isn't that great all right so this tree is a lot taller than the other tree but it's not as like <laughs> I want to say it's not as fruity but like <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah. Alright. This is the rooster. He scares me. He does not like me. This is Miss Bella. Hi, Bella. Papa tree. I am pretty sure this is the first time that my papa has flowered. So this is the tall one. It's about chest height and it has a flower. And this is the small one. It's about knee height, and um, it used to be taller, but I don't remember if someone tripped on it or what happened, but anyway, it got like snapped in half, so it has a little ways to go now. I need to replace the pool. I'm gonna do that soon. And here is my grapevine trellis. And I don't know what kind of plant this is, but it's not a grapevine. Anyway, I am fairly certain that these grapevines are dead. So I think that's it for the grapes, unless I replant, which I won't be doing this year at least. I've got plenty of strong looking blackberry canes. Those will be flowers. Here's one of my fig trees. This is the only one I have in the ground. The others are still in pots. This is a little raspberry plant. It has never really thrived and um, that's probably my fault, but uh, we'll see how it does this year. This is my daughter's rose bush. This is the biggest it's ever been, and it's got plenty of tiny rosebuds starting on it. So that's pretty cool. This is one of my potted fig trees. It would probably be happier if I put it in the ground, but I haven't decided on a place for it yet, so... <laughs> Here is an empty garden bed that will probably not be planted this year. This green strip right here is where I grew sunflowers a couple years ago, and... Probably not getting around to that this year. This is my other potted fig. And 
Yeah, I have not chosen a spot to plant it, so it just stays in a pot for now. This is Miss River. Hi, River. And this is Miss Kiki. Short for Kira. It's the same number of letters, so I guess it's not really short for anything. <laughs> 